My name is Brent Coffey. I'm the product manager here at Wacker Noise Incorporation for wheel loaders, telehandlers, and skid steers. So today we're looking at our 80 series all-wheel steer wheel loader. <clears throat> First and foremost, the all-wheel steer loader is designed for stability. The advantage to it is because it doesn't articulate, you have one common tip load because the center of gravity never changes. So you have one tip load, you know that the machine will hold the capacity of a full bucket or whatever it is designed to, to carry, regardless of whether the machine's turning or staying straight. Some of the advantages that we have on the new 80 series, first and foremost is the cab. It's a class leading cab, uh, about 30% more space in it for the operator than the older design. Inside the cab is an air ride seat uh, that's connected to the, the joystick, so everything moves with the operator uh, through the air ride system. We also have an automotive style HVAC system, so you're going to keep your feet warm, you're going to keep the glass clear, Operator's going to be comfortable regardless of the climate outside. <clears throat> Also, we have an adjustable a steering wheel column, which will telescope as well as tilt, so any size uh, operator is going to be comfortable. In addition to the cab, uh, we have several new features from a control perspective that make it really unique. Uh, first off, it has an automatic ride control on it, so it, you can set, uh, set the, the ride control to be on all the time off all the time or be speed activated at 12 miles an hour so uh, that's handy whenever you're digging you don't want ride control because you want the, the arm to be stable however when you're traveling uh, you also want the the uh, comfort of the ride control so that will turn on all, all, all by itself additionally we have the three different electronic steering modes so this is all wheel steer four wheel steering uh, on default However, you can uh, activate the front wheels to be the uh, point that turns, and those in the rear are locked out. When you lock the rear ones out, you, can, you have the optional travel speed of up to 25 miles per hour, which is uh, industry leading. And the third mode is crab steer, so you can drive the machine at a, approximately a 45 degree angle. The nice part about that though, is they're all synced electronically, so whenever they cross the middle point, whenever all the, the, the tires are parallel, uh, they will automatically sync, which means you can, you can change uh, steering modes on the fly regardless of how fast or slow that you're going. We also have a common user uh, attachment interface, which is common across all of our loaders from skid steer to telehandler, uh, articulating as well as all-wheel steer. So we now have a skid steer plate, which is standard on there, so you're going to be able to use any of your skid steer attachments on it. We also have a common attachment interface from a hydraulic perspective, so all of your hydraulic connectors will connect through the same faster block that's on our skid steer as well as our telehandler, and it also comes standard with a 14 pin, so all of your attachments can be operated via the joystick. Also as an option on this machine, you have the option for high flow, which will allow you to run the higher performance attachments like blowers and mowers and brooms and that sort of thing. The joystick that's in this machine is also very similar to the one that's in the telehandler and the skid steers as well as the articulating loader. So from all controls are, are done from one single point without the operator having to take their hand off the, the joystick. It also helps because there is no learning curve going from one type of machine to the other. If you can operate one, you can operate basically any of them. We also have an electronic throttle and speed control on here. So everything is controlled from inside with two small levers. Uh, that is ideal for using a blower or a mower where you want to set the speed at a very slow speed, yet have a very high engine RPM to make sure the attachment operates at its maximum efficiency. And finally, the engine is a tier four final 74.5 Deutz uh, diesel engine. It has a DOC, it was a diesel oxidation catalyst on it for tier four final, which means that there is no regen and there is no uh, maintenance required on that. So the machine is always up all the time. 